We're out at Lake Alamo. We are east of the lake, probably about four miles, maybe a little bit less. This is the Alamo schoolhouse. And uh, all this debris here is the awning that the uh, kids used to take lunch or take break underneath. You can see a hot water heater. The adobe construction, even the elements are eating away at it and adobe is very resilient to, uh, to the weather, especially the ultraviolets. Uh, this is the classroom that we're looking at here. Pretty incredible. You can see the uh, cuts on the timbers. And this almost looks like it was done with a home mill, even still. And uh, one reason the timbers are so intact because they're local timbers and most likely mesquite wood. Mesquite's a really hard wood, very resilient to the UVs. There's a stack, fireplace. Gotta keep the kids warm. Go through the doorway. A nice salt cedar taking the place over. Some dummy brought those in from Africa 150 years ago. Another invasive tree to the area. Go through a doorway. I believe this is the, like a preparation room and supplies and stuff like that. There you see a, that's a lazy Susan. At least that's what I call it. And um, it swings. And uh, on the other side of it is the teacher's apartment. And I can't get it to operate. But um, you can see the remnants there of a bed. I'll go around and out. Still very much intact, you know. You can still see how they did things. You see some roof over there. And uh, see the, the thin pieces of wood? Those are Saharo ribs. And then packed on top of the Saharo ribs is mud and grass. And that made, that insulated the place and made a pretty resilient roof to the elements. A lot of those ribs, Saharo ribs have collapsed and they're down here on the floor. And uh, whenever you see springs like this, it's usually either a couch. Whoop. Springs like this, it's a couch or a chair from the day, whereas now they don't use anything metal, they just use foam. Yeah, not the best angle to approach the schoolhouse from, especially to see the teacher's apartment. But uh, boy, the salt cedar sure appears to have access to the water table. But um, how do I get around quickly? Like I said, this is the teacher's apartment right here. Pretty modest. As you can see, the bed, queen size bed or so, takes up most of the, the space inside the apartment. There's no fireplace or anything in her apartment. So getting the heat from the far side of the schoolhouse to here had to be a bit of a task. You can see the construction is uh, corrugated cardboard. And um, chicken wire, and then they must have plastered it. There's the Saharo ribs I told you guys about for the roof. Mountain grass, Saharo ribs, some uh, mesquite beams, and you can see the center beam going across the building. Gotta get the sun out of it, and you can see how they chop cut it to keep it square. Literally done with uh, with uh, axes, perhaps hand saws. I don't see any saw cuts on it, but I definitely see axe cuts where there's they're splitting at it. Wow! I wonder what the budget was on this thing. I'm sure. I don't expect it went over budget. All right, you guys.
Have an awesome day.